interdimensional access approved. This is not fragile. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. Got a little something in the mail the other day. Would be this not fragile. Interdimensional access approved. Dead letter office. Forward to Australia. And damaged by Surly Clerk. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. I usually don't go out and buy me a lot of special collector pieces. I don't even know if this one's a collector piece, but so I'm a big. Do well, it without breaking the seal? No, I don't think so. Hmm. You're gonna have to break the seal. Maybe. Maybe. There it is. Let's see what's inside. From the Shire Post Mint. Shire Post Mint is a small family run coin mint located in the Arkansas Ozark. We make our coins from solid metals like copper, iron, and silver. Our designs are hand engraved into steel hardened and struck into our chosen metal. We use a variety of finishing technologies to make each piece feel ancient. Or is that unique? We hope you love our coins. Shire Post Mint. Get these opened. I wonder what's in here, Winnie. Uh, it says 9995 silver coin. Mm, what do you think it's of? It might be. It might be. Let's see what's in this one first since this has the bigger moon picture on it and has more weight. And again, this is a shame. I have to break these seals, but you know, I'm going to look at that coin. There's no way I'm just going to. I like it though. I got that one all off. Well, tore it through a little bit. What are you gonna do? I want the coin. Let's see what this sucker looks like. Oh, it's in another package yet. And this is sort of like the whole COA. This is cool. I have to dig into that. Very small, small text for these old mm -hmm. eyes of mine. I'm trying. That's cool. So these are hand engraved. And I think I read on their site that since the last few techniques have to be hand engraved, that no two are alike. They're all a little different. Here's how the moon usually is in the sky for us, something like that. Wow. I like it. I'm a big NASA moon fan. And the second I saw these, I had to have it. Now, the cool thing is, is that the reverse is the far side that we never get to see with our own eyes. And I know what pictures look at it. I've looked at many of them, and that's also a pretty good representation. It's wicked looking. Let's see how close I can get before we lose focus. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah, they hand antiqued it by hand so that it would make it look more <laughs> ancient or more I like it. Detailed. Very, 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 very detailed. I like it. Sweet. That's that one. And the other one is just going to be a quarter ounce of that version, which I would expect that these would be hard to do on the smaller coin if you're trying to get anything like that. Just like the other one. And here's the quarter ounce one. Not as detailed as the one ounce. Bring that in, would you, Winnie? See the differences here between the two. Still, nice representations. I like them from the Shire Post Mint. Well, everyone, it's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.